Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. My name is Christoph Ambrose. If you don't know who I am, that's who I am. I am the creator, the host, and the producer of this fine establishment you know as Tales of Honor Podcast. Thank you for being on board. Uh, Let's see here. I don't have any birthdays to go over today. Looks like there are only four, I think there's five, five birthdays for the month of February, but none are within the next few days, so we'll cover them as we move right along. The second bit of information I want to cover before we move on is... There was a bonus episode dropped earlier today around noon that is up and ready for you to listen to. I was very fortunate enough to have a conversation with Mike Serpa, who is a photo researcher and restoration specialist, who uh, reached out to me in regards to some photos I had from some Medal of Honor recipients and was kind enough to have a nice chat with me. So if you have some time, go on over and check that out. There are also links in the show notes of that episode to some of his work. I will have a link in the show notes of this episode for you to be able to easily get over there if you're not subscribed, which I don't know why you would not be subscribed. You should do it. Do it now. (laughs) But go ahead and give that a listen. Very big thank you to having Mike on the show. And last but not least, a very special thank you goes out to the show sponsor for the month of August and hopefully into September will be Motor City Munitions. Our founding fathers knew the importance of what can happen when a tyrannical government decides to overstep their bounds, which is why the Second Amendment was penned. Jeff, over at Motor City Munitions, understands the importance of the Second Amendment, which is why he offers a variety of tools and supplies that will allow you to be prepared, not only for target practice or hunting season, but personal protection as well. Head on over to MotorCityMunitions.com for more information and to see a wide selection of firearms, optics, suppressors, and even archery supplies. While you're over there, use promo code TALESOFHONOR for 5% off your online order today. All your firearm-related needs with service so fast, it can only come from the Motor City. So a very big thank you once again goes out to Jeff over there. You can also head on over to TALESOFHONORPODCAST.COM, visit the sponsor section of the page to learn more about Jeff, or you can just simply go into the show notes. The show notes are a magical place where lots of things can happen. You should go down there. Just scroll on down and check out the links. That is all I believe I have for today. We're going to move on. Um, Last month, like I mentioned, the last episode concluded the Vietnam War uh, conflict recipients that we're going to cover. So we're going to move right on into World War II now for the months of September and October. So, without any further ado, episode number 442, hey, that rhyme, of Tales of Honor Podcast. Herschel, known as Pete, was born on the 7th of February, 1914, in Colfax, Iowa. He was one of nine children and grew up on a farm before enlisting in the U.S. Army on his 27th birthday in 1941. Pete's original intention was to complete a year of service and then return to the farm, but the Japanese attack of Pearl Harbor 10 months later changed the plans of many, including Pete. He was assigned to Company C of the 899th Tank Destroyer Battalion and saw action in the Tunisian and Roma Arno campaigns before being deployed to Utah Beach on D-Day. After almost two full years of fighting, Pete then displayed actions that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, He was leading a platoon of destroyers across an exposed slope near Scherpenseel, Germany, on 20 November 1944, when they came under heavy enemy artillery fire. A direct hit was scored on one of the vehicles, killing one man, seriously wounding two others, and setting the destroyer afire. With a comrade, Staff Sergeant Bryles left the cover of his own armor and raced across ground, raked by artillery and small arms fire, to the rescue of the men in the shattered destroyer. Without hesitation, he lowered himself into the burning turret, removed the wounded, and then extinguished the fire. From a position he assumed the next morning, he observed hostile infantrymen advancing. With his machine gun, he poured such deadly fire into the enemy ranks that an entire pocket of 55 Germans surrendered, clearing the way for a junction between American units which had been held up for two days. Later that day, when another of his destroyers was hit by a concealed enemy tank, he again left protection to give assistance. With the help of another soldier, he evacuated two wounded under heavy fire and, returning to the burning vehicle, braved death from exploding ammunition to put out the flames. 
By his heroic initiative and complete disregard for personal safety, Staff Sergeant Biles was largely responsible for causing heavy enemy casualties, forcing the surrender of 55 Germans, making possible the salvage of our vehicles, and saving the lives of wounded comrades. Pete continued to serve with the 899th after his actions and through the end of the war on the European front and would end his time in service on the 24th of June, 1945, at the rank of First Sergeant. Two months after his ETS, he received his Medal of Honor from President Truman in a ceremony at the White House and returned home to continue farming. He was married to Wilma Telfer the following year, and they raised their three sons on a farm in Jasper County, Iowa. Herschel Floyd Bryles died on the 17th of July, 1994, at the age of 80, and is buried with his wife in the Waveland Cemetery in Prairie City, Iowa. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Floru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information. 